What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video here with Ford Era, me Solomon, and today we're in Bowling Green, Kentucky at Holly. I'm gonna do a full factory tour and check this whole place out. Been wanting to see what they're up to, so I was only you know a few hours away. I was like, hey, let me stop in. The oldest made it over. Now we're gonna go inside and I'll show you guys around. See you in a second. Well, I didn't even get a chance to go inside Holly yet. Holly actually came outside to uh, check out Goldust. What's up, Saul? What up? Oh, guaranteed. Looks like I'm, I got a crowd out here, huh? Oh, yeah. You got the socials. You got all the, all the truck files out here. Yeah. Eventually, we'll make it back in. I'm just glad to see the truck in person, man. Like, hey, you, you were, you were, were joking with me to come here. My wife and I were, yeah, I was. I didn't think you'd come. Uh, my wife and I were preg like pregnant last year during COVID, and like I just sat there and watched your videos of the trip on this truck, um, just like one after the other, just waiting for the next ones to come out. And uh, dude, it's amazing seeing it in person. I'm happy that you guys are having me out here. So I was in Pigeon Forge, and uh, Blaine saw that, so he's like, "Hey, are you stopping in?" So I was took him up on his offer. Now I'm here. So when we get inside, I'll show you guys a little more. All right, so now we're inside and Steve's gonna give us a little bit of history. Yeah, so uh, Holly basically started in 1903 and it was actually a, a bunch of brothers, uh, two brothers, the Holly brothers. Um, they started off with a car manufacturer and this is basically one of, I believe, three in existence. They did a motorcycle, they did a car, um, but this is the 1903 Holly Motorette. Um, it's a little five horsepower motor, um, little, little two-seater car. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's crazy like back then this was basically like a Tesla today. Like that's how far in advance it was. Yeah, I mean there's a lot of, this is basically the brass era. I mean there's so much brass on this thing, it's kind of funny. But uh, yeah, that's kind of how Holly started off as. That's and so cool. And eventually they got contracted by Henry Ford and started doing the carburetors for all his uh, Model T's and then eventually the Model A's and so on and so on. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. So what else? Uh, what else is in here on this level? Uh, nothing. This is mostly just all the uh, sales techs, um, upstairs marketing. Um, but we're gonna go outside and we'll go into uh, one of the warehouses. Um, Holly's got a, different, a bunch of different locations. Um, there are a bunch of places here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. There's some in uh, Texas, um, Utah. Uh, yeah. So. All right, safety first. All right, so we're gonna go into the warehouse. You see a lot of machining in here, a lot of assembly. So in here we're doing a lot of the machining. Um, we got a bunch of different intake manifolds right now we're doing machining on. We have a bunch of uh, dummy motors that we can test everything on and make sure it works. Uh, there's a bunch of EFI high rams. More intake manifolds, supercharger station, uh, right now these are all getting ready to get machined. Wow. So basically you can see this is just a the, basically the raw casting after it got power coated, but after it got power coated, then it gets all cut for your gaskets, it gets all cut for your top bolts, get all threaded in. Um, all the holes getting drilled for the injectors. Um, you can kind of see some done ones over here. You see how these get all machined for the gaskets, all the holes get drilled, they all get tapped. Um, all the injector holes, so that's kind of what they're doing there. Um, we got oil fans, we got more intake manifolds. But it's so cool to see, you know, made in America products just like these. Yeah. So these are all the uh, 671, 871 blower cases that are getting all machined. Um, so yeah, we'll keep walking over here. Again, these are just more machines doing drilling, cutting. Um, I don't know exactly what the products are doing right now. To the carburetor division, um, this is where they kind of assemble all the carburetors, start machining them all, get all the jets, um, get all the meter blocks done, these are all bodies. Man, carburetors for days. Yeah. yeah, we still do a lot of carburetors. It must be funny because now you guys are like 
the leading for EFI, but you're still, yeah. you know, the carburetor people. So it's like yeah. you're your own worst enemy. Yeah. yeah. Engineers going along, assembling all the meter and blocks. So just kind of walk through real quick. So what exactly are they doing? Uh, they're putting all the jets inside the meter and blocks. Yeah. More assembly. Wow. Throttle plate. Whoever's in charge of the operations here, <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, it's a lot going on. And like I said, this is just only one facility. Uh, we're gonna go over to Quick Fuel, one of our other carburetor companies. Um, this is kind of all the assembly for the Quick Fuel stuff. What are the differences between the carburetor brands, or it's just you know brand loyalty, and you guys own a few different ones? Uh, yeah, some of it's different. So like Quick Fuel, we have different uh, metering uh, blocks, uh, different throttle plates that are different colors. So we have you know the red ones for gasoline. We have a um, green one that's for the ethanol E85, and then we have the blue one that's for the uh, um, alcohol. So that's kind of the cool thing with Quick Fuel. You have different carburetors for different uh, fuels. And we basically do them uh, color coded. Um, see here. So, like, here's the red anodized I was talking about. So, this is going to be set up for a gasoline application. And then, we, like I said, we have the different green for ethanol and the blue for alcohol. This place just keeps going. Yeah. Uh, basically over here, this is just basically our nut and bolt cages. This is where we get all our, our little miscellaneous nuts, bolts, screws, anything. This is basically just a, a glorified hardware storage in here. This is where we just got a bunch of done items uh, ready to go. So as we're coming around the corner here, this is going to be our R&D lab area. This is basically where we uh, test fit stuff, come up with new products. Um, some of it's uh, top secret, so unfortunately I can't show you everything. Um, but you can see down here we have a bunch of different trainees, intake manifolds, drive shafts. Um, we kind of just throw them in cars and test them all out. Um, same thing right here, we got a bunch of just different motors. We uh, test fit and throw in cars just to see if they work. What are these things for? Uh, these are all just jigs, so when we make up exhaust systems, um, we can have a, basically a, a master set, we call it. Okay. So, quick pan right here. This is kind of the some of the prototype cars we're working on. Like top I said, secret. Uh, top secret, can't show you what's in inside of them and what's going on, but yeah. And you got these a coyote are, uh, over there. These are a bunch of our motors that we just kind of, you know, test fit or anything. Can we show the run stand? Uh, or not really? Nah. Some of it we can't, no, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Again, top secret stuff are on them or inside of them, so. But yeah, that's kind of R and D lab over here. Sweet, and that's, I guess, your dyno room? Nope, so inside there is uh, just basically metal fabrication. Okay. Um, these are all done parts that we photograph for um, our web website. Um, this is the photo lab. Nice. Again, they pull all the parts out, take all the beauty shots for the internet. Open, just give it a little pan. Yeah, here we go. Here. Quick little thing. Hello, photo guys. <laughs> yep. They make all the products look good on the internet. All right, so here's another uh, lab area. This I love the name of this. Look at that. Heart and Soul Vehicle Technology Center. Yeah. That's so fancy. These are a bunch of different cars we're working on. Um, kind of a sorting of different vehicles. Uh, we tested stuff here. Um, Put on exhaust systems. We do intake manifolds. Uh, we do EFI versions in here. Um, we do a lot of, uh, you know, if there's a fitment issue with something, we'll test fit it in here, and see what the problem is. Um, but yeah, kind of a little mix of different. We got, you know, square bodies in here. We got the early C10s. We got an El Camino, uh, second gen Camaro, um, Ram. 
a couple Jeeps. Jeep we, parts coming out. We so. show you guys more, but it's top secret. Again, more top secret stuff, unfortunately. Sorry. All right. You gotta go to Holly's website and see their press releases. Yep. Cut it off here. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'll show you one car real quick. It's gonna be this Dakota RT. This has our Gen 3 Hemi swap in it. And it's pretty awesome. Oh, where is this thing at? Oh, dang. So this has an SRT 392 uh, Hemi in it. Wow. This is one of our test mules. Dude, this thing must be crazy. Yeah, it's it's fun to drive. Uh, Terminator X, uh, Max. Uh, so it controls the transmission, it controls the motor. Um, so, yeah, all awesome. our test mules. Well, one I'm of many things we're swapping Gen 3 Hemis into. I'm excited what you have behind you. I see a couple coyotes, so, or one coyote. Yeah, they're the stalkers. <laughs> just bone stalkers. <laughs> This one also has, if you want to look inside real quick, it has a, uh, what's it called? A 12 inch dash. Ooh. That is nice. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Dang, 2,000 miles on this baby. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Here basically is our new dyno facility. Um, thank you. This is basically where you just test out everything and... It looks nice and clean. Mm-hmm. That's how we try to keep it. Heck yeah. This is the old dyno? Yeah, that's the old dyno up there. Um, engineers and stuff. Yeah, some of the engineers. This is we do a lot of the carb testing as far as the flow, uh, flow ratings, all that kind of stuff like that. Um, pretty much it for in here. We go out here, this is basically our shipping and receiving area. Nothing really too exciting. But. I actually think this is the most exciting because this is the stuff that people order and this is how it leaves. Uh, some of it. Um, that, um, that facility is actually probably about 15 miles away. Okay. When you order parts, that's where it comes from. Here is just basically we get all the new you know, carburetors we just assembled, like this stack of carburetors. And ship it to you. And then we send, we send it to our shipping facility. Gotcha. So when you place your order, have all the inventory of all the carburetors. Yeah, here's a bunch of new carburetors. You got the sniper EFIs just by the pallets. Yeah. Uh, nothing yet. We'll, I'll show you where all the snipers are assembled. Here. Okay. So this is some more uh, quick fuel carburetor stuff. Where our newer company is Hillborn. It's kind of where they assemble all the kits together. This is actually over here, real quick. This is our new Hillborn for the big block Chevy. Uh, it's all EFI, the old school look to it. Uh, this is where they box up all the Holly carburetors. So we got a wall of boxes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, basically, this is where they package up the carburetor along with your instructions or your hardware. Uh, more carburetors. Uh, use some more flow testing. assembly for all the snipers. Oh, okay. So they're putting all the snipers together. And over here is all the Earl's uh, fittings are all made right here in Bowling Green. Start off with a piece of round stock. Uh, you can see it on here. You get all our Earl's logo. So when you get your AN fitting, it gets cut from a piece of stock. It's all stock like that. Wow. So they're making all the fittings right now. So this 
this one's like, I don't know, I guess a little collar you're making right now. That's great. Okay. Uh, like this one, it's making a little, little fitting. And see, it's got that original Earl's logo right there. That comes from that solid round stock. It just keeps spitting them out. That's so cool. But yeah, that's what all these machines are for. Uh, these are basically more machines. Uh, doing a bunch of milling and cutting. All these machines basically make all these. They make all the machining and all the cutting for all this stuff. Auto bodies, main bodies. That is about it. So uh, awesome. Right now they're machining some, looks like pulleys right now. pretty much wraps it up here in this warehouse. I mean, like I said, we have other facilities that do other things. Um, a lot of the ignition stuff, the MSD, the race pack, uh, the Excel, Mallory stuff, that's all in El Paso, Texas. So that's another big uh, chunk of our company. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, so you guys thought we were done. Not done. Not done yet. Forgot to show you out here. This is basically our glorified uh, salvage yard if you want to call it and basically we have a bunch of just cars out here that we can pick parts from uh if we need to look at something see if something you know clears it in your fender well we have a little section of parts parts cars awesome and then also here's all our rigs uh, we got all our trailers the big holly trailer we have the quick fuel trailer a couple of our little smaller cars that we use so cool I'm gonna get the drone busted out when I get back to my truck and fly over here so I can see like literally how big this whole thing is. And uh, until then, see ya. My glorified desk of mess. Oh, so you can see uh, a bunch of car stuff on here. Yeah, it's a pretty nice cubicle. Yeah. As far as cubicles go, I mean, yeah. I approve. You got Bigfoot right there. Yeah, I got the Bigfoot. Now I got my 54 pickup truck. Um, this is an old top field dragster. I used to be on a drag racing team. Nice. I used to assemble the motor for that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we're gonna keep chatting. See you later. All right, so we just wrapped up at Holly. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I had a good time. There's a lot of stuff we couldn't show because of you know R&D and top secret stuff. But overall, I think it was great. And then uh, Holly's got Holly Ford Fest coming up in September. I'm gonna be attending. And uh, if you guys haven't yet checked that out, you need to make sure to check it out. I think it's fordfest.com. You can check out all the info on it. Um, as always, like the video. If you can, subscribe to the channel if you like the content. And if you've got any questions, comments, drop them down below. We'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.